First and foremost, I want to give all glory, honors, and praises to Yahweh by His Shem, Yahweh Shai by Shem Rakakadash, and I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone, teaching us truth time and time again, showing us how to be men, how to be men of the Lord, or willing I'm of those numbers. Uh, Shalom. Uh, I'm the brother Thaha Wam, and I want to start off this uh, lesson with a scripture. This is Matthew chapter 5, verse 13. Ye are the salt of the earth. And this is in red letter. And Yahweh Shai is talking to who? He's talking to uh, uh, Israel. He's talking to the so-called black, so-called Latinos, and so-called Native Americans. These are the salt of the earth. And when you, when he's talking about the salt, it's like when people are good cooks or good chefs, what do they use? They season their food. They uh, have the... They give it a flavor, give the flavor everything, like the people say swag or that flavor. Well, that's Israel. But if the salt has lost its savor, where, where will I mean wherewith shall it be salted? So we are, but our people have been destroyed. Our people, uh, most of them, these wicked two thirds, have uh, have just gave over their self completely to this flavorless, saltless man, Esau. He, my people are destroyed. Let's get that scripture real quick and I'll go back to it. And this is uh, how they lose their savior. Savior. I mean, no, uh, savior. Oh, man. This is Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge because thy has rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee. So our people are completely destroyed. Instead of getting knowledge, like Esau calls it science, because that's what science means is knowledge. They take Esau's pseudoscience instead of the true, the truth of Yahweh Ba'ashim Shai. They're destroyed. They choose death rather than life. And because of that, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai rejected thee. Thou, that thou shalt be no priest unto me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, and I also will forget thee, children. So, get that. I'm going to go back to the first scripture, but uh, I'm going to get this scripture because they say, "Thee see thou, they're not priests to me. And what Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai said we were, said a holy people, for thou, well, I think this is the right one, for thou art a holy people unto Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, thy power. Yahweh, the Lord, thy power, I mean thy God, has chosen thee to be a special people above, above, Himself, I mean, unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So Yahweh Bashim Shai has chosen us to be, uh, I'm trying to think, a special priesthood. I think that's Deuteronomy. But he, we, he set us apart. He put us above everything. And our people just throw that away because they're just destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Thou art... A holy people, this is Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 2. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashmi Asai. The Lord has chosen you, a particular people unto himself, above the nations that are upon the earth. Looking for a holy priesthood. That's what it would have been, but no worries. Look at this word, uh, particular. So, go. Possession, a particular. So, to possess our property, valuable property, particular treasure, something special, something holy means separate. So, he picked, separated us from every other nation. And he chose, just like, I mean, uh, in, uh, I think it's First Ezra, chapter 6, verse 55, that, Every other nation is spittle, but Yahweh Ba'ashim Shai has chosen us to be special unto them, unto him. So I'm going to go back to that scripture.
Ye are the salt of the, this is back to Matthew 5, verse 13. Ye are the salt of the earth. But if the salt has losing his savior, where will shall it be salted? If it's henceforth good for nothing but to cast out and to trodden under the foot of man. But this is also Yahushua. Ye are the light of the world. Ye are the light because we are the apple of Yahweh by Shemel's eye. So wherever we are, that Yahweh by Shemel, when two or more of thy men are in our place, I'm butchering it. There where I, I mean, there would I be. That's what it, how it goes. I'm butchering it, but just don't want to put too many scriptures. To make the script, but um. It'll make the lesson last a little too long. I got a quick lunch. But ye are the light of the world. That light, that truth, that uh, the judge. Oh, we're the we're like Yahweh by Shemiah's eyes. So we are um, we're the apple of his eye. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. So Yahweh by Shemiah, Israel is so bright of of a people that we can't be hid. Said when they said, "Let your light shine bright." We can't be hid. Neither uh, we can't be hid. Neither do man light a candle and put under a bushel, but a candlestick and is giving light unto all of the house. So we can't be hidden. And our people try. They uh, they try to hide themselves being the special people. They hate being the special people. They trim their why thou thy trim thy ways for the uh, I don't know butchering it. But our people trim their ways. Our people try to hide. Hide themselves, hide the light of Yahweh by Shemiah under a beat, under these heathen, under the, all these stuff. But that's why. And why are people hidden and they're destroyed for a lack of knowledge? Even if we're the greatest people that have ever lived, this is why. Well, I already went to it. Hosea, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. That's why. But um, another scripture. Why they're destroyed. This is telling them why they're destroyed. The, this is Isaiah chapter 1, verse 3. The ox knoweth his owners, and the ass a master of a crib, but Israel do not know. My people do not consider. So that's why our people are destroyed. They don't understand that their power, their their everything is Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. And that's the light that is. That's our soul. That's our flavor. We get the spirit through Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. That's our flavor. And our people don't know us, and that's what they destroy. That's how they're hidden inside a bushel. That's how they hide behind the bush, and you can't hide Israel. So that's why our nations are mad, and they're still trying to, even the coons and everyone, they're still trying to destroy you because they know it's here. Our light shines too bright. This is Genesis chapter 27, I mean 25, verse 27. And the boys grew up. Esau was a cunning hunter. And what is Esau still now? A cunning hunter. He's still killing things, still in the forest, hunting, murdering. That's what Esau is. But a man of the field. Jacob was, was a, and this is where our Israel, this is uh, where Israel became, I mean, Jacob became Israel. And that's what our people are. That's why we call our people Jakes. But Jacob was a plain man dwelling in tents. And we can look up that word plain. Tua. Perfect, complete. Perfect, complete. One lacking nothing in physical strength and beauty. And what does that sound? That is the so-called Latino, so-called black, so-called Native Americans, which lack nothing, which is the perfect people onto Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Because he told us, he told us twice, Jacob, get, try to get two script, scriptures. I want to end off on something. One of my favorite scriptures I'm going to end off, but I'm going to just one quick strike. This is Jeremiah chapter 10 verse 16. The portion of Jacob is is not like them, the portion of Jacob, for he is the former of all things. 
and Israel is the rod of his inheritance. Yahweh by Shemuel Ashada of hosts is his name. So Jacob, which is Yahweh by Shemuel's people, which is Israel, is the former of everything on this earth. Everything comes through you, comes through Yahweh by Shemuel Ashada through Israel. So anything on this earth probably came from Jake that has effect of that brings life, brings forth perfection. All comes from Israel, from Jake. From Jacob. Kalla Yahweh by Shemel Shai. So end off with this scripture. This is song, and this is what Yahweh Bashim al Shah has told I me, mean, told his people, that told David. Songs, chapter 82, verse 6. I have said, Ye are gods, and all of you are the children of Yahweh Bashim al Shah, the Most High. See, he said, He has told us, Ye are gods, and even Yahweh Shai. Get it real quick, and I'm going to end off with that. It is Yahweh Shai answered them and is it and answered them. Is it not written in your law that I said ye are gods? And that's talking to Israel. We are Yahweh Bashmiah's people. We are a race of gods, a race of uh Yahweh Bashmiah's uh will. We're a race of his will, which uh, first and foremost comes through Yahweh Shai, which is our savior, and then all the apostles and elders, and then us. But the whole nation is a race of gods, even the wicked. Right now they're off, but in the kingdom will be right because Yahweh by Shemel Shai has mercy on his people and his people alone. So with that, I want to give all glory, honors, and praise to Yahweh by Shemel Shai. And uh, Shalom, brothers.